Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we have a very friendly do-it-yourself job. We're going to run you through the steps required to replace an outlet receptacle. Whether the old outlet receptacle is not working anymore, or you're changing styles or changing colors. Let's do it. So step number one, safety first always. Cut all electrical power to this outlet. And to verify the power is cut, what I will do first is show you that I do have power to this outlet receptacle. Plug it in, you can see my phone is now charging. And I will unplug this, head directly to my home circuit panel and cut the power to this outlet. In our case, it is circuit breaker 15. And this is a very important step because this step will allow you to verify which amperage your outlet receptacle is. Ours is a 15 amp circuit. In the event that this says 20, you wanna make sure that you purchase 20 amp outlet receptacles. So to cut the power to that outlet, I will just switch this circuit breaker off. Now let's go verify that there is no power at that outlet. Back to the outlet now, let's go ahead and plug in the phone and no charge just to be safe unplug it plug it back in no charge i'm even going to test the lower plug no charge after that test it with the outlet tester and all lights are off down to the bottom all lights are off Power is cut. At this point, we can say it is safe to take the cover off and start the process of removing and replacing the outlet receptacle. Grab a flathead screwdriver and remove the flathead screws. After unscrewing the screws, you can pull this cover right off. Next, let's remove this entire receptacle from the blue box, which you can see here. Grab a Phillips screwdriver, carefully remove the Phillips screws. After backing the Phillips screws out, slowly and carefully pull the outlet receptacle out. On the left side, as you can see here, two white wires go in and are tightened down by silver screws. On the opposite side, you have two black wires that are tightened down by brass screws. The black wires are your hot wires, and the white wires are your neutral wires. Now down to this little green screw, that is your ground. So what we will do now is remove the two white wires by backing out these two silver screws. Both silver screws are loose, which will now allow us to remove the white wires. Both white neutral wires are removed, and that's what that curled loop looks like. Now let's hop to the opposite side and loosen up both the brass screws and remove the black hot wires. Both black hot wires are removed, and what I've done is position the wires in a way that they actually went into the receptacle. The wires that were tightened into the lower screws are positioned at the bottom, and the two wires on top are those that were tightened down by the top screw. Now I will add that it really does not make a difference which black wire goes into which screw, as well as which white wire goes into which screw on this side. It's just very important to know that you don't want white wires going in on this side, and you don't want the black hot wires going in on that side. It's now time to loosen up the green screw and remove the ground wire. I want to point out something very important. Prior to grabbing the new outlet receptacle, I want you to take a very close look at every wire lead or tip and do a thorough inspection of the condition of each lead. In the event that you find any signs of stress on the actual wire leads, any cracks, or anything that does not look right, you will want to grab your wire cutters, snip this entire lead off, grab your wire strippers, strip the coating of the wire off, and start with a brand new fresh portion of the wire and you will do this for every single wire. In our case, the inspection looked good. All the wire leads are still in great condition. Let's go ahead and open the box of the new tamper-resistant outlet receptacles. And these are a huge improvement from the receptacles that we had previously, as far as the safety. At the end of this video, you'll see a video that I talk more about the actual safety features and benefits of these tamper-resistant receptacles. Definitely check that out. And as I mentioned earlier, we have a 15 amp circuit, so we made sure we bought the 15 amp receptacles. New receptacle is out of the box, and exactly like the old style, you have two silver screws on one side that tighten down the neutral white wires. And down at the bottom, you have that green screw that is for tightening down the ground wire. And on the opposite side of the new receptacle, you have those two brass screws that tighten down the black hot wires. So let's get this thing hooked up. The first wire we want to connect and tighten down is the ground wire. Ground wire is looped around the green screw, and I want you to take note of how the ground wire is positioned. Notice that the curl goes under the screw and loops up on the left side. You want to make sure you insert it that way because once you tighten the green screw to the right, that ground wire will tighten with the screw. And since we're already on this side, let's go ahead and insert the white wires and tighten the silver screws down. 
Both white neutral wires are secure. And again, just notice that all three of these wires are positioned in a way that the curl enters the screw on the right and then loops underneath and up. And as you tighten the screws to the right, the wire will tighten itself with the screw. Now let's hop to the opposite side and secure the black hot wires. Both black hot wires are tightened and secured. I want to point out one last thing. Notice how the wires are properly set in the gap that the outlet provides. The wires are not loosely resting on plastic anywhere outside of that gap. That's important. Even on the opposite side, as you can see here, the wires are in their proper gaps. Now it's time to reposition all five of the wires back into the actual electrical box. And you want to do this safely and responsibly. The reason behind that is as you move these wires back into position inside the box, you do not want them tangled in a way that this ground wire will be pressed against the actual brass screws or touching these silver screws. The most common way to insert the wires is at the halfway point, slightly bend them as you can see here, and slowly and carefully reinsert the receptacle and tighten both those screws. Leave both of them just slightly loose, which will allow you to move the receptacle. At this point, go grab the new cover and align it properly with the screw holes and make sure that this receptacle is positioned to allow it to fit through the actual opening of the cover. Quick view of the new white receptacle cover. Let's go ahead and remove it from the plastic. Position the cover over the receptacle and align the screws with the actual screw holes, which are right there and right there. Once you get the screw holes lined up and the receptacle positioned properly, remove the cover and tighten down both Phillips screws. Now it's time to tighten both the top and bottom flathead screws. And I'll share one last tip with you. Notice how the flathead screws are positioned the same with the slot and the actual screw pointing up? That is exactly how the professional electrician companies do it. Because as you can see, that leaves a great professional finishing touch to your actual outlet receptacle. Now it's time to head back to the circuit breaker panel and turn the breaker back onto this outlet. That's it, I hope the video helped. Hey, do us a huge favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notifications because once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified, you will be able to stay up to date with us and that will be awesome. Thanks again.